The bomb was the ultimate pre-selling package, a shock and all package. It was a box that was about $25 to $35 to send out to seller prospects. That's about what it would cost, okay? So I want you to think about that. We generate the lead and we send the lead a shock and awe package that we called the bomb. And they would get it and they would open it and when they looked at it on any level, um, it increased by, I don't know, 300% them calling us and saying, come list me, okay? Or preconditioned to do business with us automatically when we got there at a higher fee. So pre-selling your prospects on doing business with you starts when you generate the leads. So that way when you show up, getting your higher fee for buyers or sellers and your transaction fees becomes happenstance. It just happens. Without or with very little objection or pushback from your prospects. So if you're having problems now convincing yourself to ask for more money, you need a better presentation. But more importantly, you need a better pre-selling system. Okay, from the time you get the lead, all the pre-selling. So what we did is we took the bomb and we put it, we still have the offline version, the box that you can get from Lifestyle Media. And if we have time, we'll talk about that later. Uh, but we took all those materials and we actually built them out online. The, what we call the ultimate converter. And Shai worked on it for months and months and months and months and actually upgraded it and, and uh, made it into a way better system than it was. Okay, mobile friendly, lots of video, spokesperson for your team and all kinds of great stuff. Okay, because here's what Craig and I want you to do. We want you to use the Dan Kennedy materials as a platinum program member in your listing presentation, in your marketing, in your follow-up materials, and especially in your pre-selling systems, okay? And we call it, uh, in our pre-selling systems, the bomb, which is the direct mail, and the ultimate converters. So we're gonna walk you through kind of how this works or how it should work for you. And show those of you, there's about 50 of you in the room right now that are actually using the ultimate converters, and that's great. Okay, but Shai's made some improvements, so you'll benefit from this as well, seeing the improvements and what I recommend your use of them should be. And this is something that every Platinum member should be using. And if you're not using it, or let me tell you this, if you have used it, but you haven't really figured out how to, you know, really leverage it, you gotta give me a call. This was a showstopper, game star. This is why, one reason why I was able to sell my real estate business at what, when we were getting 8% real estate commission in a very down marketplace when the commission should have been much lower. All right, so, uh, so to help us do that, I've got a few special guests that we're gonna call up to the stage. So we're gonna talk about the value of pre-selling first, okay? This is important because I want you to think this way. Listen very closely to what I'm getting ready to tell you. If you're generating less branded leads, the soon, as soon as you get the seller prospects, you've gotta go right at branding them, okay? You've gotta, you've gotta convert them. How hard is it right now to convert less branded leads? It's not the easiest thing in the world for you. It's the most difficult thing that you guys do. Picking up the phone, calling back prospects, not expecting a call, convincing them to meet with you. Is, am I, is that right? Okay, so we wanna make it easier for you. The Platinum program is built on this bomb, this Dan Kennedy material that he so graciously wrote. Well, we paid him half a million dollars for it. So, um, it, it literally, it's been about that much. It was a little, about, a little over 300 and some fees since then. So, trust me, these guys are very expensive. But he's one of the best copywriters uh, that we know of, so he was the right guy to help us with this project. Okay, you generate the lead, and then you go to branding them. And in all of your, your branded marketing material, okay, uh, if they're not ready to do something right now, you've got follow-up. All of your follow-up must be built on and predicated on the materials that we're getting ready to show you your mailings and your emailings, okay? And whatever they see from you must have these ingredients in them. So the easiest way for us to do that was to have the system built out. Lifestyle Media has been do, done this for us and you guys can just use it, okay, for a small fee. And it's not very much money. I mean, I'm just, this is very inexpensive, okay? So don't, don't worry about having to shell out a bunch of, whole bunch of coin here. That's not what this is about, okay? All right, but these are very important ingredients to pre-selling your prospects, promoting you 
as the agent of choice in your marketplace. Let's talk with our panel just a little bit here, if it's okay. We'll start with Warren since he's got the microphone. Like, you guys delegate business to other people, is that right? Yes. Okay, now for you, Warren, you go on no appointments. Like you're in, you know, San Salvador somewhere, you know, running your business, right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, where? Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Like I said, Nicaragua. Yeah. <laughs> Carol, don't waste your time. He's not going to say. So anyway, so how important, seriously, how important is it to, um, to really use these ultimate converters, the whole pre-selling system, the Kennedy materials, everything we got here, like, you know, is it something that maybe you could get away without doing, or is it really that big a deal? It's not an option. Um, because, as Todd said, I don't live in my marketplace, so 100% of the appointments are being handled by someone other than myself. So from the moment you generate a lead, as Craig teaches us, we need to start branding ourselves. And then from the moment an appointment is booked, we want to pre-sell them. So what, what Todd taught me to do is think of it as an appointment has three parts to it, okay? There's the pre-selling, there's the live face-to-face -face appointment, and then there's the autopsy. So every appointment is actually three steps, all right? So if you skip one of those steps, you're decreasing your profitability, you're decreasing your, your likelihood of success. So the pre-selling is obviously done on the phone when we ask the qualifying questions, and then the converter and then the paper bomb, uh, which, which Dana has, which she'll show you, uh, those are critical components of what you do. The paper bomb is expensive, so it's a no-brainer to start with the converter because everyone here can do that and because the price is all-inclusive. Whether you send one or whether you send 100 every month, it costs the same. So um, for us, the hardest part is getting people to open it because we send it electronically, and as you know, electronic stuff gets lost in cyberspace. Uh, so we'll send it three, four, five times to someone, and the ISA's job is to make sure it's getting open, because the content is so high value that it changes the, the perception of the agent that's gonna go out and meet them. So you know, to answer your question, Todd, it's, it's not an option, it's 100% required on my team that we send yeah. it. You become addicted to pre-selling prospects. Another, and you will, the, the measurement of response in terms of collecting a higher fee and spending less time on buyer appointments and listing appointments, increasing the show up rates, one step appointments, getting the price that you want. In other words, building trust, okay? You know how big a deal it is to hear somebody on the radio, right? Or watch them on television, you kind of associate them with being someone that you can believe in and trust. So um, it elevates you to that kind of status, doing it that way, like Warren is saying. Like, you will get into a position where you can't stomach going on appointments without pre-selling them, okay? Because you know how important it is to your business, all right? And, uh, and I got some more I wanna uh, shock you with here in a moment on that, but before I do, let's see what uh, Carol Royce's team, Mr. Tim Evans, her partner, has to say about that, Tim. Yeah, you bet. It, it, this is a, it's a just do it thing. I, I can tell you that, you know, from where we were last year, and we started using the bomb, and we made our business very visible this year. Uh, what do we have our listing leads on? What, we call them what? Pink sheets. And if this thing does not say bomb on it when that was delivered, I mean, it's just a rat race to get that out. And we, so uh, when we started putting the bomb out there, our conversion, you know, self oriented homes just by generating a ton of leads and then not converting them. It's about converting just every one of those types of leads. And I was talking to Sarah Reynolds. I miss Sarah. We were talking about conversion in titanium just a little earlier about how you convert 95 and then you have some OSAs that are at a lower rate. But when you start using this bomb, your conversion rate starts, it starts shooting up. It's just, it, it's amazing, it just works. So it's a, it's a must to have in your business because if you don't have, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. So Yeah, so let's think about that for a minute. And, and the higher fees too, Todd. I wanna tell right. you. So let's think fees. about the conversion for a minute, okay? We all know, like we're not, this is not a revelation for you. You guys already know, if you could just raise your conversion rates by 25%, that it would just be off the chain in terms of business growth, wouldn't it? And it's just phenomenal. Okay, so what is that worth to you? Like, what is it worth? 
So most of us associate conversion with reaching the prospect and doing a better job on the phone, okay? Yeah, that's part of it. But what happens if the prospect is more likely to even answer the telephone? Would that be a big deal for you? What would happen if they're not just more likely to answer the phone, but say, yeah, you know, I was actually getting ready to call you. Or you know what, I've been thinking about calling you. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, I know exactly who you are. Okay, like, what would that do for your business versus some of the battles that you guys are waging now? Okay, getting listings, getting listings, you're not going, when we go branded, you know, in Platinum members, and you guys go uh, expand your branded marketing, your USP marketing, which is what you're going to do to get more listings, you're not going to get a ton of leads. You're not going to get 500 listing leads. Doesn't happen. You're not going to get 300 listing leads. Okay? If you got 200, I would be amazed, right? So conversion becomes a big deal because you have to spend and invest money and time to get these prospects, these seller leads to be calling you saying, I want to talk to you about selling my house. You can't let those fish slip away, man. Okay, for everyone that slips away, it is a lot of money. It's not just what you're making on the listing when it sells. It's all the buyers that would have been calling you, the houses that they would have listed and, so, and sold and turn around and bought from you, as well as your client that would turn around and buy another house, the referrals and the testimonials that grow from that. It's exponential, man, exponential. So Dan Kennedy got really mad, really mad when we told him um, in 2004 that out of the 40 original Platinum members, I can only get 16 of them to spend the money to invest in the bomb. He was furious. He goes, well, you got a bunch of dumbasses, was his words. <laughs> he goes, they would rather generate 500, 1,000 leads. Is that what they would rather do than generate, you know, 250 to 300 leads and convert way more of them? Like, that's just dumb. And he kind of threw his hands up, wouldn't talk to us for a little while. You know, but I said, man, we're trying. I mean, Craig are doing it. Carol's doing it. And, uh, you know, and... Several other people, Andre LaFountain, who many of you guys know, works for me, um, uh, works with me. I shouldn't say for me. He's way more than an employee. Um, he was a platinum member, original platinum member, before he retired uh, from selling real estate and moved from New York down to Atlanta. He was using the bomb. So um, it was at that big a deal and a game changer. And we knew how it was. Craig and I spent upwards of $20,000 a year on the original bomb. Thanks, Dana. Spent twenty thousand dollars a year on it, okay. But we made millions of dollars, okay, as a result of it. Big game changer, man. We were able to bring the leads down, elevate it. So the conversion aspect of it, I wanted you to see it from that angle too. And Tim did a good job of sharing it with us. Okay, let's go to Laura, Laura Peterson from Celebration Florida. Laura, how are you doing? Doing great. All right. So you jumped on this pretty quick. When we rolled this out, you know, with the, with the ultimate converters and looked at them, you're like, you just kind of jumped in there. It wasn't even perfect, close to being it, you know, but you kind of jumped on it early. So why? Well, because I felt like there was that disconnect and I did have some problems where, um, you know, we would be setting some appointments with buyers more than sellers. And when you're meeting buyers not at a home or a and at the office they weren't showing up or whatever and so I really wanted it for that just as much as for the sellers and what I found is that when we did send this to them and and they did open it up and then we called them and said hey we're sending this to you and did you open it up we did have a lot more people that showed up and they showed up totally excited about working with us couldn't wait to get all of the advantages that they were going to get that we had they had already Seen, so we're doing the buyer's presentation and they already pretty much knew all of the things that we were going to tell them because that was their expectation. So, um, and then the third side of it was the recruiting and anybody that I've sent it to that I've actually met with on the recruiting side has wanted to come work for me. Now, all of them I haven't wanted to work for me, but the ones that I have, you know, it makes it a lot easier to recruit as well. Yeah, so I mean, if it if a shock and awe system or a pre-selling package on steroids using our specialized marketing material works on sellers, then it only makes sense that it would work on buyers, okay? And if it worked on sellers and buyers, it would only make sense that it would work on real estate agents that we're trying to recruit, right? It only makes sense. 
Like, wouldn't it be great just to show up and sign? Okay. That's right. Wouldn't it be great instead of having to recruit agents, they're trying to re convince you why you need to hire them? Yeah, that's what this is designed to do. And, and used properly, it will. So let's go to Mr. The King of Real Estate, Tracy King. Anybody ever been to Dollywood? Let me see your hands if you've been to Dollywood. There's one, two, oh, wow. anybody? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About oh, eight people, Tracy. It. How about that? If okay. you haven't been to Dollywood, you get down to Tennessee area, you got to go to Dollywood. Yep. Dolly Parton's theme park. It's really cool. Sevierville, Gatlinburg, all of that, beautiful places. Uh, one thing about Tracy here, uh, if you guys don't know this, um, he makes a lot of money. He's going to do upwards of a couple of million dollars in commissions this year. And, uh, and the vast majority of his business, non-owner occupied listings, investment properties, second homes. Is that right? Yeah. So uh, glad you agree with me. So uh, with that, Tracy, you obviously think uh, these pre-selling systems are a big deal. So what's your experience with them? How's it going? Well, it's, uh, they're very important to us because, you know, most of the non-owner occupant people that we're reaching, you know, they, they really don't know who they need to talk to in our area. So uh, same thing with buyers. Most of our, 80% of our buyers are out of area buyers. So, you know, it's important that we connect with them and, and get them sold on us so they're not looking around everybody else. Because you know how buyers are, they're on the internet constantly looking if they're really spastic looking trying to find something um, so it's very important to us that we have this this product uh, I've been on listing appointments where the owner has I don't know if you guys if they haven't seen it or not but there's like the eight the questions to ask your real estate agent before you hire you know they, they'll print that out and have it there on the table of course we already know the answers to them and yeah <laughs> and we, the other heads don't right part so. of the uh, part of the pre-selling system is to stage the interview, okay? This way, you're set up to succeed. You'll walk in and you'll see they actually have your questions. They printed out your questions and selection factors uh, chart that they're using when interviewing you, which is great because we wrote it. So it's kind of hard to screw that one up, right? Yeah. So we're gonna see some of that here in a minute. We, uh, so when most of my, you know, most of the time when I'm listing, I'm, I'm at my desk and I'm just on the phone with these people. So I've got a lot of convincing to do, but it, this helps me a lot. And I'll make sure that they get that email. And I say, I want you to make sure you look at this. I'm sending you a link. It's going to tell you more about our company, more about why, why, why you should choose us over anybody else in the area. And I'll make sure when I talk to them again, I'll make sure that they've seen it and they go, oh yeah, yeah, it's great. And we just, I mean, all that it becomes then is just a matter of the pricing that we can come together on and we're done. Yeah, how many of you guys have a lot of business that, um, you know, they're, they're buyers that are moving into the area. They don't live in your area, but they're living away and they're calling you and saying, yeah, I'm thinking about moving there. How many of you guys have buyers like that? Okay, this is a, that's, this is a must uh, for you, okay? Um, no question about it. So um, how many of you guys are having buyers uh, you set buyer appointments and then they don't show up. Does that ever happen to anybody? Just me? I'm the only guy? Okay. Well, why should they show up? Why should they show up? What are you giving them, the MLS? Why, I, why, why would I go out of my way to show up at your office to get the MLS? Like, why? Is that your offer? That's not a good offer. Okay, it's not a good offer. That's not what we offer people in the universal callback script. So if you're having problems with that, you got an offer problem, okay? It must be about proprietary information. Priority access, proprietary information. Information on real estate, on houses that they cannot get or relatively hard to get on their own. That's the story you have to tell if you want buyers to show up. So if you're not telling, if you got buyers that aren't showing up, then this is another good reason that you need to put pre-selling into place. So you're forming the narrative that you're different, that they need to go out of their way to show up there. You've got something that they want, okay? That's the reason buyers don't show up, man. They don't think that you have anything special. You're nothing special. You're just like all the other agents. I'm getting access to the MLS. I can stay home and do that, okay? That's a fact. 